what is up guys we are back with some skyrim legendary edition today to showcase a few mods today we're going to be starting off with the shrine of carjo which is i guess a tribute to one of my favorite followers and one of this author's favorite followers as well carjo is a khajiit that travels with the caravan that you can see traveling between the rift and the pale so uh in the description it says a shrine to the best companion ever carjo a shrine to the best companion ever carjo don't knock it till you try it took about two hours to make and is mainly just a personal mod that i felt should be uploaded to the nexus found south of dawnstar for people who are not sure what the mod is and why there is no picture of it it's because i don't want to spoil it for you it's just a cave south of dawnstar and a shrine will be there so uh i don't think you actually need to have carja with you or it doesn't matter if he's alive or dead so we're basically just gonna jump in this game and see what the hell is in this cave all right so here we are in game we are right here next to dawn star and i see a little icon right here so this might actually be it so i'm going to just run up this hill Shrine of Carjo discovered. All right, yeah, so here it is. Let's go inside and see what's in here. I've got your back. Okay. It's got a nice little docks going on right here. Little wooden bridge. <laughs> it's just a picture of him. Moon amulet. A bunch of skooma on a table <laughs> and moon sugar and sleeping tree sap oh my goodness and it's so neat it's neatly on here <laughs> oh man this is Kajo shrine man all right all the drugs uh, Khajiit could ask for and yeah that's it. So I do have a follower with me. And they are. It doesn't even look like they could get in here. So I don't even know if the place is nav mesh. I'm always glad but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's some waterfalls right here. Some water. It's not deep at all. And all of these candles in your shrine. So yeah, that's the shrine of Carjo. All right, so the next mod up is going to be Grimmel's Lake Shack. This mod is actually really recent. Came out uh, on the second. And uh, this is located, I believe, in East Mark. So there's some screenshots of the house. And here is a screenshot of the map, which I like. And as you can see, there's a uh, Windhelm. And I believe that's a... Uh, I forgot the name of the place. It might be Angus Mill. I could be wrong. And then, yeah, there's the Lake Shack. And the requirements are that you have Hearthfire. It comes with eight planters. All right, so let's go check this out and I'll show you exactly where it's at. Okay, so here we are in game. We're standing by Angus Mill. And oh, the freaking house is already there uh, when you start up. So you could just fast travel to it right away. That's cool. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'll toggle detection mode off. I think there is a random encounter, like a, a leveled creature right here, like a wolf or something. But yeah, I toggled AI detection. So here's the eight planters right here, the four of them. And I don't think there's anything behind the house. Yeah, there's nothing behind there. So let's go check inside. All right, inside we have a hearth fire oven and some snacks on the table. This is the kitchen as soon as you come in. All right, and we have the alchemy station right here. And there's a full size bed right here. Oh, it's a small little cozy little thing. All right, and then we have a cellar in there. All right, let's check the cellar. Okay, so down here in the cellar, you 
have your blacksmithing forge, sharpening wheel, and armor workbench, and enchanting table, and your tanning rack. So it has all your essentials right here. This is a nice, small, little, cozy thing just out of the way, not next to any roads, so it should be compatible with road mods. And yeah. I think it's a little nice design and a good location. I'm gonna steal this location. <laughs> I think it's a good spot. Yeah, so this is a good home. I'm gonna put the link for this in the description. Last up, we have an armor mod called Rorikin's Relics, and this is a backport. It is a dwarven themed set of armor that can be obtained in multiple ways, but the most convenient way, in my opinion, is just to craft it after you gained the dwarven smithing perk. So I was a bit underwhelmed after seeing this in game. It looks a bit small, even for the vanilla body shape, and the textures look like they are from Oblivion. Or maybe even Morrowind. Um, now, I'm not saying that this is a bad armor. Because in the pictures on the mod page, it looks much better. So it just could be something on my end. Um, there are enchanted versions of this armor that you may have to do some searching to get. I was using the File Explorer just to see what the mod had to offer. So they did have sets of the armor that was uniquely enchanted. And it would give you buffs and debuffs. So you can have a piece that may increase your armor rating, but decreases your movement speed. So, you know, that's just an example. So uh, with all of that being said, I am going to link all of the mods that was shown in this video. If you are still here, thank you for watching. Leave a like or a dislike on this video to help support me. And I will see you guys next time.